What a wonderful day it is, my green loving community. And why do I say that? It's because today I answer the question most of you have been asking me when I post any pictures of Frank the Fiddly Fig or Treesus who's right behind me. How do I get them to branch out and be so full and lush? Now, to be completely transparent, Trees is behind me. He came to me this way. I've had him for a year now and he has continued to thrive based on the space that he is in, getting bright and direct light all day and because of the care that I give him. Frank also was someone who actually had already started to branch. And over the past four years, I have helped to kind of mold him into the form he is today. So how do you start that process? That's what I'm gonna share with you. So what I did was about six months ago, I purchased a small fiddle leaf fig, probably about three feet high. I wanted to see if I could start the branching process so that I can show you on how you could do it at home. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, which I didn't do because I needed to actually show you guys exactly how to do this. You're gonna to wanna to wait until your fiddle leaf fig, if it's just one branch, you're gonna to wanna to wait until it's at least five feet tall to start this process. Once it's about five feet tall, what you're gonna do is, along that branch, if you look at the base of the branch, it's really hard and tree-like at the base. But as you get up to the top of the branch, you'll notice as the branch starts to become more green. You wanna get a pair of sharp shears. I mean, these aren't shears, they're just my fingers, but you wanna get a pair of sharp shears. You wanna make a cut, a 45 degree angle cut, with at least three healthy leaves coming off with it. Why do I say that? Because we're gonna take that tip and later you're gonna place that in water so you can propagate that, so you can actually grow a new fiddle leaf fig while you're branching your other one. Once you've made that 45 degree cut, you just cut the top off your fiddle leaf fig. Don't panic. What's gonna happen is, what plants do is when you cut them like that, they begin to freak out themselves and they think, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to kill me? They think you're trying to kill them. So their way of fighting back, which I think is so awesome, is that they grow new shoots. Now based on the type of setting that that plant is in, the type of care that you're giving it, and the light that it has, it can either produce one or two shoots. When I first purchased this fiddle, it started off as one single branch. So when it came to branching it, this is where the initial cut was actually made. From here, you can see as it split here and also here. Then I decided to try that again and made the cut right here. 45 degree angle cut. And then after that cut was made, a few weeks later, these two branches split from it, making it feel much more full than it did before. Now, based on where your tree actually is and how much light it gets, it'll just naturally start to produce more branches. My fiddle leaf figs have done that multiple times since I've had them. All of a sudden a new branch will develop. But you wanna be very aware of where this natural branching process takes place. Sometimes it'll take place at the very tip and you might not want that because as the branching starts to happen, some trees, if the base isn't strong enough to hold all the limbs, it'll start to tip over. So there. That's how you get a fiddle leaf fig to branch out and be more lush. But remember, a fiddle leaf fig loves best to be in bright and direct light. Loves to be watered all the way through, but only when dry. Make sure you keep an eye on it, and I promise you, your fiddle leaf fig will thrive. So yeah, that's basically it. A sharp pair of shears, good light, and a whole lot of patience. Because if you're hoping to get a fiddle leaf fig that's about four feet tall, to one day be as tall as Treesus or Frank and to be as lush and beautiful, it's gonna take some time. I hope this helps. Have fun.